Hi fellow DIYers! Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a scratch and reveal card. It's very easy to make and for sure will put a smile on the receiver's face. I have them ready to print and cut on Design Space. The link is in the description box below. I'll also show you in this video how to find this template on Design Space. So let's get started! Open your Design Space app, click these three lines, and then click home and then type in DIY by SES and then enter and then scroll down a little bit and under community members you'll find DIY by SES click that and then click this project if you're not a Cricut Access member you have to pay for the amount shown below before you can cut the file but with Cricut Access it's free so click edit a copy I'm just gonna zoom it in so we can see closer so I made these two templates and I'll show you how to edit the writing in this box. And for the happy birthday one, I'm going to show you how to add a name here and a text in here. So we're going to start with the happy father's day first. I'm going to hide the happy birthday one by selecting it and clicking the eye icon on the layers panel. Now I'm going to edit the text by clicking the unflatten. Now I'm going to select the text and I'm just going to drag it out of the box. Now you can replace it with the text that you want. In my case, I'm going to put car wash and $100 cash. And then you can adjust the size and then select all and then click align and then click center horizontally and then select all again and then click flatten. And now as we can see here, they're all flattened and it should say print then cut. And now I'm just going to show you the happy birthday one. I'm just going to unhide it and hide the happy father's day one. So now I'm going to add a text in the box. I'm going to click text and then type in the text that you want. And then adjust the size. And then select all. Click align and then click center horizontally. And while they're all selected, click attach. And then click flatten now i'm going to add a name i'm going to click text and then type in the name and i'm going to change the font and i'm going to change it to amore hearts i got this font from creative fabrica i put the link in the description box below i'm just going to add an exclamation point and then just resize it and then select all then click align then click center horizontally and then I'm just going to change the name's color and then select all and then click attach and then click flatten. Now I'm just going to print the happy father's day one. So I'm just going to hide the happy birthday Gemma. So now I'm going to click make it and then click continue and then click send to printer and then turn the ad bleed off and then click print. And then after it's printed, put the cardstock on the mat. And then select medium cardstock for the base material. And I always adjust the pressure to more. Now, whenever I do print and cut using my machine, I always try to make the room as dark as possible. So I turn off the desk light and I close the top part of my machine. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you the two ways that you can make your scratch and reveal card. For the Happy Father's Day one, I'm going to use the clear tape to cover and protect the writing from scratching. And for the Happy Birthday one, I'm going to use a white crayon. So you can use any metallic acrylic paint. So pour out some of the acrylic paint and then add a very small amount of dish detergent. And then stir it well. So I'm going to add a clear tape on the Father's Day one. Then apply as many coats as you need until the text is fully covered. Then allow it to dry between coats. You can let it air dry or you can also use a heat gun. Repeat this step until you have all the text fully covered. Now, 
Now I think it's fully covered. Now for the happy birthday one, I'm going to use a white crayon to protect the text from scratching. Now it's totally up to you if you want to use a clear tape or a white crayon for your card. Now the text is fully covered. Now it's time for scratch and reveal. So for this one we used a white crayon to protect the text. And for this one, we used a clear tape. Now for these two, I used the clear tape to protect the text. I personally like the clear tape better than the crayon. And there you have it! If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. All feedback is welcome and any feedback is good feedback. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorials. See you in the next episode of DIY by Sass. Thanks for watching!